Hi, I'm Adam Yenser, and welcome to the Cancelled News. Unlike Mr. Beast, no one's been injured on the set of my YouTube show. Please be sure to like and subscribe is what I've been told I should say every week, even though I'm tired of saying it every week. And come see me live. I'm headlining the Savannah Comedy Review in Georgia right now as this episode premieres. So get your ass over there if you want to catch it. And I'll be at the Comedy Chateau in North Hollywood on July 14th. Now here's what's in the news. Joey Chestnut won his 16th Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest on the 4th of July by downing 62 hot dogs in 10 minutes. Then he headed to the bathroom for the fireworks. A Subway restaurant in Georgia caused a controversy by putting up a sign that said, Our subs don't implode, but their marketing campaigns do. Who still makes Titanic sub jokes? Like their slabs of wet meat, that sign is completely tasteless. Although Subway did announce that this week their restaurants are going to start using freshly sliced meat. And at Englewood Penitentiary, Jared is also excited for this week's fresh meat. One of the biggest stories this week is that cocaine was found in the west wing of the White House. And shortly after, Biden promised to fix immigration, inflation, the Ukraine war, student debt, climate change, hotel fees, infrastructure, balance the budget, and redesign the Rose Garden by 4 a.m. tomorrow. Despite speculation, investigators insist the cocaine wasn't Hunter Biden's, but it is now. Honestly, I am skeptical as to whether the cocaine belonged to Hunter or not, because he usually takes 400 selfies of himself doing it first. According to MSNBC, the bag of coke was found in a secure area of the White House near the Situation Room, next to where the vice president's vehicle is parked. Kamala then sentenced herself to a decade in prison because there were drugs by her car. Riders on a roller coaster in Wisconsin got stuck upside down for three hours before being rescued by the fire department. Engineers determined the coaster got stuck because every rider in Wisconsin is over the weight limit. A super PAC supporting Democratic candidate and anti-vaccine activist RFK Jr. has raised $10 million. At this point, the only thing that can stop him are easily preventable, mostly extinct diseases. During a Trump rally in his home state of South Carolina, Lindsey Graham was booed off the stage. Nonetheless, he still smiled through it and had a gay old time. Seven people were injured during severe turbulence on a Hawaii Airlines flight to Australia. Sadly, they had to cancel their vacation and go back to Hawaii. On his podcast this week, Joe Rogan called Dylan Mulvaney a mentally ill narcissist. Mulvaney responded, OMG, thanks for talking about me. A new study ranked Singapore as the best country in the world. The study was conducted by the Singapore Board of Tourism. According to new data gathered from quasars, time moved more slowly in the early days of the universe, and every time I try to finish Martin Scorsese's The Irishman. An Italian researcher now claims that in 1933, a UFO landed in Italy and was recovered by the government of Benito Mussolini. Say what you will about Mussolini, at least the intergalactic space flights arrived on time. A Taylor Swift fan wore a towel and sunglasses disguised to her concert so she wouldn't get caught skipping work. This is also what Maroon 5 fans do so they won't get caught listening to Maroon 5. Elon Musk liked a tweet that said only parents should have the right to vote because the childless have very little stake in the future. Which doesn't make sense. I'm childless and I can afford stake every night. After 63 days of silence, NASA received a new message from its Ingenuity helicopter on Mars. Sadly, it asked how its friend the Titanic sub is doing. This tasteless sub joke brought to you by Subway. Eat fresh.